life such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? <laughs> All right, here it is, guys. We are cooking Vietnamese pho for my beautiful wife. I'm cooking Vietnamese pho in Vietnam. Think of it. You're in Vietnam, the mecca of pho, and you're cooking it in Vietnam. How crazy is that? Let's go! All right, here we go. We got a big pot of just regular boiling water here. We got three kilograms. Ooh! A beef bone, yes, three kilograms of beef bone. All we're gonna do, toss them into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, they just have to get in the okay. cake. One and a half kilograms of beef brisket in as well, and we got some beef bone. So this is two kilograms of beef beef rib bone in as well. Everybody into the pool. I don't care if you can swim, they just have to get in. Bowling time, like I said, 20 minutes, all right? <laughs> 20 minutes in, you're gonna see a lot of gunk coming out like this. This is the impurities. You want a clean, nice broth, okay? So we're gonna do this. Let's see if it's not hot enough, okay? Let's do this. We're gonna pour out the impurities. Woo, be careful. Woo. We're gonna wash. See all that gunk and impurities in there? We're gonna rinse our impurities out, okay? Don't rinse it. Don't rinse it with soap, right? If you rinse this with soap, it's gonna taste like everybody. So, <laughs> once you got your impurities nice and clean out of your pot, we're gonna fill this up to 10 liters of water, all right? As we wait for our beautiful water to fill up to 10 liter, we got three onions, we got one clump of ginger, and we're just gonna char it on this pan here. 10 liters of water in, all we're gonna do now, we're gonna rinse our bowl, we're gonna rinse the impurities out, and we're gonna just throw them into the pool, okay? In our clean water, okay? Make sure you rinse out your impurities before you toss them into the pool. I don't care if they can swim, they just have to get in, right? Nice and simple. I'm cooking pho in Vietnam, all right? I can go out, oh, and luckily, I have an awesome camera woman <laughs> to show me that my onions are charring. Okay. Our beautiful char. Ooh, onions into the pool. Two tablespoons of salt to the mix. We got one cup or one jam of fish sauce to the mix. Ooh, make sure you all get the fish sauce. We got a medium clump of rock sugar, or I'll say a tablespoon and a half of rock sugar to the mix. And that's it. Cook this for about six to seven minutes. Hours. Six to seven hours. Okay, <laughs> take this bad boy. Toss it on. Medium heat. 30 minutes in, what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a layer of scum on top all you gotta do filter that scum out because you want a nice clear broth also mention forgot to mention the brisket i threw in you want to take it out in one hour right make sure you time it right okay if you don't take it out in one hour that brisket is gonna just melt in this beautiful broth here and just ruin your broth <laughs> six to seven hours in your liquid gold is complete so might not look taste right now because we're gonna let this sit overnight. But in the meantime, we got this. This, my friend, is a nice package of pho seasoning. If you guys don't have this in your super local market, you get this, a bag. <laughs> you get a piece of cinnamon, so two pieces of cinnamon, one black cardamom to the mix. We got four star anise, five pieces of cloves, two tablespoons of coriander seed. We got a piece of licorice stick and a teaspoon of fennel here. Okay, this package didn't come with cinnamon. I believe this is licorice right here. Wait, I can't believe they played me like that. But we got backup right here. Oh, one piece of cinnamon. All we're gonna do, toast this until it becomes nice and smoky, right? Here we go, we're gonna grab our cheese cloth bag here that they supply. We're just gonna put this in carefully. Tie tight. Toss in to our beautiful broth. Let this beautiful thing soak for about 25 to 30 minutes. All right. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the next day. Filter this whole thing, all right? When you got a helper, ask for some help, right? Because you don't want to waste any of that liquid gold. You good? Remember last night, I told you guys to take out the brisket in one hour, then just throw it in the fridge. Did I tell you that? Thank you, my love. Okay, it was shaking. All we're gonna do now is slice down this beautiful brisket, like so. You're gonna slice it down, 
nice and thinly, all right? Next meat is the beef bones that we're just gonna chop up nicely like that. I'm just gonna throw it back into the pool, just to heat up. Meatball, everybody pour half a package into the pool. Thanks, <laughs> All right, here we go, Australian Wagyu. All we're gonna do, slice this down thinly, and this is gonna be our raw beef that goes on top of our beautiful foot, right? Button foot, so this is the real foot. Everybody watching North America, you guys are actually eating hotel, okay? Mm -hmm. It's a different version of Cambodian noodles, but this is the real foot right here. It's much thicker, much chewier than your original. So look at the strands, look at the strands. This is real foot, so this is what you're gonna do. So this is actually fresh foot. You can only get fresh foot in uh, Vietnam, so all we're gonna do, toss them into the pool like that for about one minute, okay? All right, my beautiful love, what you want on it? Everything? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> all right, she likes sucking on the balloon. <laughs> me too, me too, me too. So <laughs> we're gonna give her two big beautiful bone here. We got our beautiful rare beef, which I find a little fatty, so I'm just gonna do this. I'm just gonna soak it into our beautiful water here just to kind of cook off some of that fat because we don't want too much fat, okay? I'm gonna share it between me and yes. my wife here so it's a little cooked and raw, okay? Beautiful brisket on two ends here. Spring onion, spring onion. I know my wife doesn't like uh, onions, but we're gonna give her the onions because she's gonna give me the onions after, okay? Last touch. Like a gold. You can't mess with this liquid gold, my friend. Order 69. Your beautiful homemade fuzz up my way. <laughs> Little touches right here. Forgot the black pepper. Okay, forgot. So, for toppings, we got bean sprouts here. We got culantro here. We got some peppers, lime, and uh, basil. We got the hoisin. Okay, not poison, hoisin. We got the sriracha. Yes, important from Vietnam. My wife's favorite, the Vietnamese um, hot sauce and satay. Let's get into this. Vietnamese pho. My first, or not my first, my wife's first time trying my Vietnamese pho here. So, I wanna try this first, the broth. Just just, just in case if it's salty, guys. Guys, broth first, go time. You guys got soup off this. Let's see what my wife thinks. Wow. <laughs> it's good, eh? You like that? I love it. Liquid gold, my friend. Liquid gold. Pop this in your mouth. This is the actual strands of Vietnamese foot. Yeah, this guy. Nice. Super pumped for this. Mmm. <laughs> that was too. <tough. laughs> okay. To set it up, this is what you do. We got lime to the mix. We got culantro. Oh, thank you, my love. I like a lot of culantro. I grew up like this, guys. Well, I didn't grow up like this, but I kind of just like my taste like this. It's just plain and nice. Like there's no hoisin or anything on it anymore. Like back in the day when I was a kid, it was a lot of hoisin. Look at my wife, see? See my wife? She's an OG eating it too. So a lot of herbs and spices. And on the side, there's a dipping sauce if you like it more sweet, okay? The peppers, these peppers, guys, will enhance your foot by a lot, okay? Trust me, okay? These little peppers. Bean sprout. Oh, some bean sprout as well for the wife. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> if you want more, just say, okay? I'm just gonna do some sriracha. You want some sriracha, my love? Yes. Okay. Some hoisin. Ooh, the real hoisin, okay? The real hoisin from Lee. Is it Li Kam Ki? Ooh, chili oil. Toss it into my dipping sauce. Why am I lucky? <laughs> Why am I lucky? Okay, let's do this. Another sip of this, okay? Guys, open up, let me slice it. It's got a nice soup process. Oh, that's an enhancement right there. That's a beautiful enhancement, okay? That's what I like doing. Everybody eats their foot differently, just eat it how you like it. I just like to dip. Raw, I like it nice and clean. Delicious. 
just give us a minute. Yeah. Can't go wrong with Vietnamese food in Vietnam, right? Let's go. The Wagyu beef from Australia. Guys, bite on this. It's got a nice soup off this. Jeff is up. Wait, I thought that was a brisket. That was a brisket. Okay. This is the Wagyu beef right here. Huh? Ooh. Mm. You try the wagyu beef, mother? Yeah. Is it soft? Is it soft? Um, Buttery. Fatty. Mm. <laughs> the meatball is actually really good too. This meatball here? Right? Yeah. Very delicious. Mmm. Mm hmm Okay. This hunk of meat here. Please excuse us, okay? We're just chowing down. Okay, bite on this. Get this guy nice. Soup on this. You should try this sauce. Oh, it's actually the same sauce. <laughs> you don't like my sauce? You don't like my sauce? No. What's your sauce? Chili mix? Vietnam pasta? No. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which is fatty? That's fatty. You like it? I love it. Hmm? I love it. <laughs> you like eating the bone, right? Eh? Yeah. Oh, man. Mm. Mm. Excuse us, kid. Just a little hungry today. Or right now. One to ten. Why would you rate my for Be honest, okay? Okay. Eleven. <laughs> I can cook for you this every day now? Yes. <laughs> I can eat this every day. <laughs> That's heavenly, my God. I just want one more thing right here. I love it. Very, very love it. <laughs> okay, that's what I want. A bit of more of that meat. Oh, open up. Let me slice it. It's got a nice soup on for this. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna bite off that fat there. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna give you guys a really good bite here. Dipping sauce. Ooh, nice. Open up, bite on this. Yeah, it's got it. Wait, super off this. If you ain't got bone in your foot, is it even foot? Super off this. That's beautiful.